Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a full face of Charlotte Tilbury. I've been wanting to do this for such a long time. I'm using the best of the best in this, my favorite products from Charlotte Tilbury to create a full face and I cannot wait to do this look. I also just watched the Adele One Night Only show and I loved her makeup in that so I was thinking about trying to recreate something like that. I've never done an eye shape like that before. So that's kind of my inspiration for the eyes. To all my US friends, the Charlotte Tilbury website stock these. So this kind of what brought on this video, honestly, because I wanted to give you a heads up about Pinkgasm, which is one of my favorite blushes of all time. And they restocked the contour wand in a medium dark, which has been out of stock forever too. So these are back in stock on the US website for Charlotte Tilbury. Be sure to get your hands on them now because they'll go out of stock again, I'm sure. And the final thing, I'm gonna be using rougher brushes for this tutorial because they're having an amazing Black Friday sale. And I wanted to give it a little shout out in this video because they're having 50% off their brushes. I'll have all my brushes linked down below as well for you guys to check out. So happy shopping. I hope this video helped you out. It's been a long time coming. I cannot wait to play with a full face of the best of the best from Charlotte Tilbury because quite frankly, this is my favorite brand of all time, as you guys know, and I've been wanting to do this forever. So without further ado, let's jump into my best of Charlotte Tilbury. We will be starting off with the eyes today just because the whole technique is different from what I've done before. And I wanted to use the Super Nudes Easy Eye Palette because this is a recent love of mine and it has all matte shadows, all the basic kind of colors that I would need for an everyday look is in this palette. Really nice and compact, perfect for travel. Love the formula of these shadows. They're mattes, which you guys know I love. And this is totally me in a palette. So my favorite palette currently, Charlotte Tilbury has some amazing color stories out there, but this is the one that I personally reach for the most, just because I like basic eyes for most days. Just gonna put on a little bit of medical grade eye tape to get that clean, crisp edge. Taking a rougher 15 brush, just gonna go in with this shade first in my crease. So I'm gonna bring it from my tape into the crease. This is just gonna be a light wash of color. And then I'm gonna keep it high in the inner corner and then we will be bringing it all the way to the nose. So I will be doing that after I put on my foundation so that it kind of connects to my contour. But that's just the shape we're going for. We're keeping it nice and bright in that inner corner. And taking a nice small brush, the Ruffer 13. What I love about the Ruffer brushes is that they have a ton of tiny detail blending brushes because my eyes are smaller and they have some of the tiniest blenders that I've personally come across. So those are my personal favorites if you're gonna pick up any during their Black Friday sale. And I'm going to be taking this shade next and putting that slightly lower in the crease. We're definitely going to be cutting the crease as well. Just following that same shape, but just deepening that crease. I'm just gonna take a little bit of concealer and map out this shape, and then we're gonna be putting that lightest shade on top of that base to give that bright eyelid. I'm just going to do my eyeliner now using the brown shade, and then I'm gonna go over it with the black just to deepen it up. We're just gonna do a winged liner shape and it's gonna close off how much space is on the eye. That's why I did a little bit bigger because we are gonna be doing such a heavy liner. This eyeliner is great because it's dual ended. You get a cream shade and a brown. I have this one from Estee Lauder that I've kept for years <laughs> because it was my favorite one. And it's very similar to this. I love how creamy it is. It lasts in your waterline if you use it there. I could easily make eyeliner with it too. And it's still precise enough for me. It's just a really great pencil if you're looking for a dual ended one. I just love the shade of brown and the cream. It's just perfect. I have two mascaras from Charlotte Tilbury. We have their newer one, which is the Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes. And then we have their Full Fat Lashes Mascara, which is actually my preference. It's still her older mascara. This new one, it has a rubberized wand and the bristles, they just don't work for me. They're a little bit short. I much prefer ones that look like this. That is what I'm gonna be using today for my lashes. Let me know if you liked the Pillow Talk lashes. There are products from Charlotte Tilbury that I personally don't think are worth it, which I'm gonna still mention in this video, even though it's best of, because being honest, some things just don't work out for me. <laughs> 
but this mascara I do really like. The image I'm looking at of Adele, she is wearing some falsies. Charlotte doesn't make any, so I'm gonna quickly pop some on off camera. I'll have those linked down below too, in case you're curious. And I will come back, start on the complexion, and then work on lips. I feel like those are the two areas where Charlotte really shines. I do like her eye products, but I love her complexion and lips. To prep the skin, I'm using one of my favorite products, one of the products I've used the longest from Charlotte Tilbury. It's her magic cream. A ton of makeup artists use this. I love this because it's a great base and a great primer prior to makeup. I find this is nice and thick, moisturizes the skin, but really smooths it out and kind of fills in my pores too. It's a really great consistency and one that I always go back to and I know that I'm gonna get a good makeup day when I wear this. It feels so good on the skin. For foundation, I have two here to share with you. We have the Magic Foundation, which came out prior to the Airbrush Foundation. This one has skincare ingredients in it, and it's supposed to be an all day and night wear foundation. This one's more full coverage. This one's more of a medium coverage. I initially did not care for this foundation. I felt it was a little too heavy. For whatever reason, my skin didn't like this at first, but I picked it up probably a few months ago and realized how much I like it now. So it was weird because I did have a preference for the Magic Foundation and I would have recommended that one to you guys. However, I am leaning more towards the airbrush now, but again, it would be something I would try. Foundation is definitely one of those things that I would go and get a sample of to see what reacts better to your skin because quite frankly, <laughs> I had a poor experience with this at first. I don't have a rougher foundation brush, so I'm just gonna use my trusty BK Beauty 101 brush. I'm hoping they have sales too if they do. You need this foundation brush if you haven't got it already. I know a lot of you have because of me. I'm using this shade 7.5 Neutral. This is what the consistency looks like. It does run a bit. You can see that consistency. It's not too thick, but it's definitely a heavier coverage foundation compared to her Magic Foundation. So this is Neutral. I do find it still looks a little bit yellow on my skin. You get really good coverage with this. The finish is just beautiful. I absolutely love it. Another product that is great to wear on its own, you can mix in with your foundation or use it as a highlight, is the Hollywood Flawless Filter. I cannot get enough of this product. I'm gonna put a little bit on my cheeks right now, but we will be using other highlight. I just wanna show you kind of what it looks like topped on the skin, but I often just use this on its own, honestly. But it does give a beautiful, just natural glow to the skin. It doesn't disturb your foundation. Really gives that high shine finish, just juicy looking, healthy looking skin. And you can imagine this all over your skin. Might be too much for some people, but for me, just a little bit of powder, dust it over the areas you don't wanna shine. It's perfect because it has a little bit of a tint, but it has that glow to it too. So it just looks really, naturally radiant and just stunning. One of my top products from Charlotte Tilbury for sure. And then moving on to her concealer, it's the Magic Away Liquid Concealer. I'm gonna be honest, this isn't my favorite packaging. I can never get it open. I'm gonna probably break a nail trying to do this. Okay, I got it. And it has one of those sponge tips which get really messy. So as much as this is the best of Charlotte Tilbury, I'm gonna be honest and share with you things that I don't necessarily like as well. <laughs> so it's not just gonna be a glorified Charlotte Tilbury dedicated video where I talk only positive because there are some negatives in any brand, right? But this one specifically is one that I wouldn't buy again. As much as the concealer is decent, it's really nice. The application of it in the component is just, less than ideal, <laughs> to put it nicely. Are we even getting any out? Just going to put some underneath my eyes. I can't be precise with it because it just kind of globs out. But again, the formula is beautiful. My under eye looks stunning. However, again, as much as I like the formula, I just wouldn't buy it again because of the horrible packaging. But if you can get past that, it is a nice concealer. Just to balance out the face, I'm just gonna put a little bit here on the nose. Some of the best products that Charlotte Tilbury does are these wands. 
We have the Beauty Light Wand, which is the highlighter, the contour wand, and the Beauty Light Wand High Blush. So she does have highlights, blushes, and contour. We're gonna start off with the contour first. It looks like this. And they recently restocked the medium dark shade. I have the fair medium. Packaging on this, you just have to have a little heads up when you use it. You have to twist it, squeeze, remember to close it because if you don't close it, it's gonna keep coming out. So just a little word of caution, but it's perfect color, perfect consistency. It just is a beautiful contour if you're looking for a liquid contour. And I actually don't mind the top on this one for whatever reason. It's not as bad as the concealer. This one works for me. <laughs> the concealer one, it just doesn't work out. I just like to take my foundation brush, which makes everything blend in a little bit more natural and then just go over that contour product. And it really does contour the face. You can see the chiseling already happening. And it's not too gray because oftentimes with me when I contour, I know it's supposed to be a ashy kind of color to mimic shadow. Sometimes it just can look too ashy. <laughs> so it just makes the perfect contoured base. I love how subtle it looks and it's probably one of my favorite contour colors on the market. Easy application with this too. Love the packaging, though they could stand to fill this up more than they do. It's still worth it though. I'd still continue to buy it. Like the contour wand, this recently restocked as well. So if you can get your hands on it, I highly, highly recommend. This might be my favorite thing Charlotte Tilbury does, quite honestly. It is the Pink Gasm blush. This went viral for a while because Medicine Beer said she used it on her cheeks. And I fell in love with that look. It's literally the perfect pink. You can wear this if you have light skin, dark skin. It looks beautiful on literally every single skin tone I've seen this on. So I'm just going to apply this to my cheeks. Same packaging, you just gotta squeeze then close. And you can go heavy handed with this because honestly, it always blends out seamlessly. So don't mind me. Sometimes I go crazy with this. You can apply a lot. Such a pretty color. And as everything setting on the skin, my skin just looks beautiful. I love her complexion products. They just work so nicely together and I always have the best makeup days when I add all her complexion products together. You wouldn't even need highlight with that. Like look at how glowy and beautiful that is. I can't get over this blush. Every time I use it, I fall back in love. If you can get this while it's in stock, don't sleep on it. Cause I'm sure it will go out of stock again soon. Haven't even set my under eyes yet. And that concealer, it sets so nicely on its own. You don't even need powder with it. Having no creasing whatsoever, it just looks really nice. It's hydrating too, which is odd that it doesn't crease. Just why is the packaging so bad? Cause I do like it. It's like a hard thing for me. <laughs> liking a product but hating the packaging. So we are glowing youthful skin and I am going to go in with the beauty light wand. Just really make us glow today. Same packaging again. Just dot this on. I always go too light because I don't want too much. This use sparingly. <laughs> the blush you could use a ton. This a little will do. <laughs> Couple dots. You're good. And I love the undertone of this one. I use the shade Spotlight. In case you're curious, they do have other highlights too. I like the Spotlight color. Charlotte has two really popular powders and this one is recently going viral on TikTok. It's the Magic Powder Under Eye and Face. This powder, I actually don't care for that much. I know a lot of people love it, so give it a try. But if I were to recommend one powder from Charlotte Tilbury, it's definitely the Airbrush Face Powder. I've been using this for years, gone through multiple. I'm currently using shade two in medium. This is like my third or fourth compact. I'm not sure at this point, <laughs> honestly. I go through them like crazy. And then this is in the shade three, which is tan. So you can see medium compared to tan, just in case you're in between skin tones, one or the other. This one I'm more so using the summer, but I'm not as tan now that we're going into the cooler months. So I'm gonna be using number two on my face. And I love to apply this with my Beauty Blender Puff. If you guys haven't got this already, it's a must. 
going to be just lightly setting my under eye, though I don't honestly feel like I even need it at this point. Then taking my Refer 22, which is a really great dupe for the Tom Ford bronzer brush if you're looking for something nice and big. I'm actually gonna use this for powder for just the light dusting, but I recommend this one for anyone who wants that Tom Ford brush, but it's too pricey. Plus 50% off, I would definitely get it for Black Friday. I'm gonna be tapping this onto the skin just to lightly set, kind of avoiding the cheek area. I'm not gonna overly set it because I want it to remain nice and dewy. Then for bronzer, I love the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. I have the shade 3 Tan, which might be a little bit dark for me today, but we're gonna go light-handed for this. And I'm just using a rougher 04 brush to lightly apply this to the skin. This has a nice red undertone, which is nice for me because I do pull red naturally, especially when I naturally tan. When I fake tan, I can go more olive depending on the tanner. When I naturally tan, I do often pull really red. So it matches my undertone quite nicely. This is just going to bring a little bit more life back to the skin. I'm just gonna lightly put down my nose so that it doesn't get lost in the face. Then we're gonna connect that eyeshadow into the contour. A couple products I'm going to mention. We have two kind of face products that I'm already wearing enough on my face today, otherwise I would totally use these. But we have the Nudegasm Face Palette which is newer from Charlotte Tilbury, it looks like this. Really stunning, I love that big jelly type of formula. However, I would still purchase this one right here over this face palette. I know a lot of people love this, but this is a classic for me. I have a backup because I almost hit pan on the highlight. It's the Filmstar Bronze and Glow. This is up there with my absolute favorites Charlotte Tilbury has ever done. Pinkgasm in this probably. You know what? I'm just gonna put a little bit on my nose for you guys, just so you can see the highlight. I don't reach for the contour as much, but the highlight is just so stunning. We could set this, just go really glowy. I'm like, I'm not gonna do it, I do it. We can do a little highlight in the inner corner. This is in my top three most used highlights of all time, is in this palette. So I highly recommend that. I also love the Charlotte Tilbury blushes, but I wanted to show you my favorite, which is Pinkgasm. But I have five here, I've been collecting them over the years, and they're just so pretty, I'll show you one. We have Love Glow here. These are the Swish and Pop blushers. So you can go around the outside, get one color and get another color in the center. You could swirl it all together. You could do the whole swish and pop like she suggests these be used for. You could go around the outer, put it on your cheeks and then pop the inner on the apples of your cheek to give you that multi-dimensional look. They're so pretty. You can't go wrong with Charlotte Tilbury blushes. Honestly, these were my favorite for years and years. Still up there with my favorites. Definitely my top three blushes of all time formula, the Charlotte Tilbury. I'm gonna quickly finish off the eyes, just taking that second brown shade and running it under my eyes. I love how effortlessly these blend out. And using that cream side of that pencil we used earlier, just gonna run that in my lower waterline to really open up my eyes. One of the hardest parts for me for Charlotte Tilbury right now is deciding what lip color I wanna use because I'm in love with her lipsticks, love her lip pencils, I love her lip products. She has glosses, liquid lipsticks, and things like that, but these are definitely the best for me. I love her Lip Cheat lip liners and then her lipsticks that look like this are absolutely amazing. So recently I've been wearing CoverStar so much and you guys always ask me what color this is. It was part of the Super Nudes collection, so I figure I have to wear that today. One of the lighter nudes she does, but I have so many different favorites from the collection, you can't go wrong. I love the packaging, I love the shape of the bullets, I love everything about it. I know a bunch of these liners are really popular. We have Pillow Talk, we have Iconic Nude, but my most recent obsession is Hot Gossip and I don't feel like enough people talk about it. So I'm gonna be using that one to line my lips today because I'm obsessed with the color and I've been doing that kind of combo with CoverStar all the time and I know you guys are always asking me what I'm wearing, so I'm gonna show you here. We got Charlotte Tilbury and I need to sharpen this because I use it. <laughs> this color reminds me of a creamier version of Max Spice but a little more terracotta. And then Cover Star, we're just gonna pat it out on the lips. 
and blend in that lip liner. So this is one of the lip combos that I'm always wearing. Hot Gossip plus Cover Star gets you this. It is so pretty, a go-to of mine. And how am I gonna finish off my face? <laughs> you wonder. No wondering here. I've been raving about this for so long. It's the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This one is the White Tea of Bali scent, which is a new scent for them. I still prefer the other scent of the original. It's more like orangey. This one is more like a Fix Plus actually kind of smell, which I do like, but it doesn't smell as good as Fix Plus, but it's way better in prolonging your makeup. So I'm just gonna use this to set my face. I'm just gonna let my face dry, come back, have my hair done, dressed, all that, and we'll finish off the video. I am back. This is the completed look. I absolutely love how it turned out. You can definitely amp it up and do it even darker if you want something more dramatic. I just wanted a soft look. Feel super glam. I think the skin turned out so pretty. You know I already love the lip and obviously I really like it because I use my favorite products from Charlotte Tilbury. I also mentioned ones that you could potentially skip on if you like products similar to me. So I hope that helps you guys out in your decision of what to pick up from Charlotte Tilbury. I am so happy to finally have filmed this video. I've been wanting to do it for years, I swear. And definitely make sure you get those products that are in stock now if you've wanted them for a while and haven't picked them up. Medium dark in the contour, pinkasm in the blush. They also have peachgasm, I think, back in stock too. And the refer sale that starts tomorrow, if you wanna check it out. I'm now a refer affiliate, so I'll have my links down below for you guys to check out. So thank you guys so much for watching, for clicking on this video, for spending some time with me today. I hope you guys enjoy this look as much as I enjoyed creating it for you. Thank you so much for watching. If you have not subscribed already, I would love for you to do so by hitting the red subscribe button, the bell if you want to be notified of all my future videos, and I will see you guys in my next one.